Yo, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the channel. This is the RTH Podcast, man. I'm your host, Nephew, and I'm checking in, man. So, uh, it seems like the fight between uh, two division, three-time undisputed champion Clarissa Shields, and right now, currently, unified uh, super welterweight champion and uh, Natasha Jonas, is off man the fight is officially off um sad news if you want to keep it all the way up being because uh this was the next best thing uh for clarissa shields the next big thing for clarissa shields um the reason why i'm saying that is because um who could she fight now um it seems like she's going back to square one where did nobody want to fight her bro which is the reason why she went to the pfl in the first place um and it seems like it's happening again in her career but they say history is doomed to repeat itself so Clarissa just gotta find a dance partner now I'm pretty sure the likes of Shadesha Green would probably do a little bit of draining to go down and see Clarissa Shields but I don't think she wants that fight right now I think she's fixated on franchise cruise design and so why you know derail your plans and then go see Shields possibly not happening right um, you have Franchine who don't have a dance partner. I've already went out on the limb and said it would be a perfect fight for Franchine to see Clarissa Shields, but we don't know what Franchine want to do. And now Savannah Marshall has also thrown her hat into the uh, the Franchine Cruz Design sweepstakes. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know what Franchine going to do. We just have to wait and see what she's going to say. Uh, when is that time? But as far as this fight, though, man, um, it seems as though uh, Natasha Jonas had uh, an interview where she spoke herself about the reasons why she turned down the fight. All right. She did turn down the fight. And here was her reasons right here. It comes down to one thing, and that was money. She, uh, I think Salita said I I'd made loads of excuses. There was never loads of excuses. I wanted a fight before it, which would have been on this card. Um, but that had nothing to do with her anyway. I wanted to be paid well, you know, and he can say what he wants, but she wouldn't expect to accept the, the the money if it was the other way around. And I get that she's got her own contract with with whatever was paid, but you know, I still I still want I still want to, and I deserve to be paid as I was the champion. She was coming down for my belts. We wasn't that far, if I'm honest. We wasn't that far, but yeah, it was just you know there was other fights out there that were a lot less risk. That was very similar pay, and I, I don't see, you know, why 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 you should take the risk if you're at least not going to be paid well to do it. Good luck in your next fight, and hopefully we can uh, meet paths. Our paths can cross again. So uh, you guys heard it from the dragon's mouth. She basically, in so many words, just said that maybe it was about 55-45, or maybe it was 60-40. It could have been those two percentages. The reason why I'm not going crazy like on some Tyson Fury stuff and saying that it was a 70-30 um, um, is because it was close. They was close to inking the deal and Natasha just wanted to get paid like she was the champion. So maybe she wanted A-side pay. I, I don't know. Um, but Clarissa did take to Twitter and say, I ain't, I ain't lowball you. I ain't love about you at all. You was looking for retirement money. And um, that's why you chose not to take the fight. But it, it seemed the same. It seemed the same. She, uh, Natasha Jones is saying, man, I'm, I'm already getting those offers. So to fight in a super fight, I should get a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? So, eh, I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't want to call Natasha a duck. And it's not because I like Natasha. I like Cl Clarissa Shields as well. I don't want to call it a duck though, because at the end of the day, the pay is is what matters the most, right? The goal, it just collect dust. You know, Floyd says it a lot. You just collect dust. The legacy will, you know, it it'll be watered down. Um, no matter how you look at it, um, some people just will see you as amazing. Some people are gonna forget about you, no matter how that goes, right? But um, as far as um this particular fight, bro, I wanted to see it. But we don't see it. But they did go to Twitter, man, and they had a little bit of some war words. Um, uh, Clarissa Shields responded to Natasha Jones by saying, "World champ or not, 
you are terrified to share the ring with me, just stop mentioning me, knowing you turn down opportunities for us to fight. And um, Natasha Jonas <laughs> hit her back with Esther Jonas is the only woman I fear. Good luck on your next fight. So uh, I don't know, man. Like I said, it, it always comes down to the bag in in pretty much every fight, bro. It comes down to the bag at the end of the day. Everybody doing this for a, uh, a specific payday, and there's no salary cap in the sport of boxing. All right, everybody's doing it for a payday. Some doing it for legacy, just because they already got the bag. And if you got the bag already, that's because you've already built your legacy. You see what I'm saying? So it's one of those situations where you take the weaker of your fights. Um, when you first starting out, you take those fights early, and then you you try to try to build your money and your legacy at the same time. And I don't think Natasha about to leave. I highly doubt she about to retire. Like I highly doubt that. I think she got about another five years, maybe seven years, before she even thinking about retiring. But it, it's some good set up money if they could have raised their stakes a little bit. But you got to think about it for a woman fight, especially at this magnitude. Because okay, all BS aside, right? Um, it's not the biggest fight, right? It's not. It's not the biggest fight. Clarissa Shields is going to take bulk of the promotion. She's going to take bulk of it because she she got a loud mouth. You know what I'm saying? No offense to Shields, but she got a loud mouth, bro. So she she know how to get people involved because she know that they don't like her. Like in my opinion, she's the most hated woman in the world. Like if that make any sense to y'all, she's the most hated woman in the entire world, bro. Especially when it comes to sports. Um, reason being is because, bruh, she that good and people tired of seeing it. You know what I'm saying? And until y'all can find somebody who's going to dethrone her, bruh, she, she, she's free to be that good for the rest of her life. You know what I'm saying? And it seemed like the loss in the PFL didn't justify nothing. She fought her ass off in the PFL when she lost that fight. You know what I'm saying? And it's still kind of like, man, that ain't good enough. I want to see her lose in the boxing ring. So she will take bulk of the promotion. Natasha ain't gotta do nothing but look pretty and and show up on fight night. That's it. That's it. And train. That's it. She ain't gotta shit else. And make weight. That's it. She ain't gotta do nothing else. So should she have gotten paid like the A side? Eh, if I'm being real, no. She should have got paid like the A side. Or oh, though Natasha belts are on the line. So she used the belts as leverage to maybe weasel out this fight. I'm not gonna say she ducked. Because like I say, the money is important. Um, I wouldn't have blamed Alessandro Usyk if he would have uh, chose not to fight Tyson Fury because of the money bag. You see what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been upset if Fury um, 70 30 demands was and 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 Usyk just like, man, I ain't about to fight for no damn 70 30. Like I, I wouldn't have been mad at that. You see what I'm saying? So uh, I'm not gonna call Natasha Duck as well. But I, ain't, I am gonna say she weaseled her way out of it because uh, she not gonna, she don't gotta do nothing, bro. She ain't gotta do nothing. She ain't gotta do nothing, bro. Sit there, look pretty. That's it. Even if she don't talk trash, even if she did talk trash, she just, if she if she talked trash, that would just better sell the fight. But she ain't that type of lady, anyways. So what she gotta do to sell it? Nothing. <laughs> just 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 put her name on on the on the billboard and show up. That's it. Free payday, if you ask me. Now, as far as the fight is concerned, I thought it was all right. I, I, I gave her about a 60% chance of winning. Like, if I'm keeping it real, I gave her about a 60% chance of winning. But like she said, why show up and lose your belts? I'm, I'm not going to say she, she felt she was going to lose. But it is a very big risk. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, at the end of the day, it is Clarissa Shields. Like, it, it ain't just some random old... Uh, taxi driver that, that's putting up to the arena. It's the quote, Clarissa Shields. And uh, we can talk about the PFL all day, but them fists, shh, that's a different story. So, uh, yeah, man, just letting you guys know that this fight is off. I had a uh, supporter of the channel um, tell me that the fight was off, and I know she probably was waiting on this video uh, for a little while, but I don't like to just jump to conclusions. I like to see it play out. Before I start doing videos, so um, to you, to the subscriber, uh, it's here, man. I, I, I finally seen what you was talking about. You knew it two weeks ago. I think she told me like two weeks ago. This fight was off, and I, I didn't cover it until I seen it from the dragon's mouth, um, which being uh, Clarissa Sills and Natasha Jonas. 
But uh, that's my time on this one, man. This is the RTH Podcast. I'm your host, Nephew, and I'm signing out. Y'all take it easy, bruh. Peace.